As we want Pfizer and Moderna's FDA approval for COVID-19 vaccines, many people are wondering if they'll be required to get one. WRTV Stephanie Wade explores the legality of whether employers can require their employees to get the vaccine or not and speaks to those first in line to receive it. Uh, as soon as we can get it in our hands, uh, we'll be ready to ready to give it. The ultra cold freezers have been purchased and they're ready to go at IU Health as they await the arrival of their first shipments of the vaccine expected around December 15th. Should Pfizer receive FDA approval? Really the highest priority out of the gates are the staff and team members at the long term care facilities and all frontline healthcare workers that work in the emergency departments and seeing large volumes of patients. Plus those working in their designated COVID units. But the senior vice president of clinical effectiveness says they won't mandate their employees to get the vaccine. We're going to highly encourage it. Uh, we won't require it just because it's new. Uh, so even though, you know, it's it's going to have a ton of data uh, through third, tens of thousands of patients uh, through the studies. Um, just because it's new, we're not going to require it of individuals. Uh, In the end, I think that will stay private employer. Uh, they can mandate it, but they do so uh, with a couple of restraints and potential exposure for lawsuits. Aaron Williamson represents employees in these kinds of litigations. He says industry standard is to educate but not require vaccines, but companies can still mandate if they want to. I wouldn't say it would be difficult, I would say it would be risky. And why take on the risk? The risk being employees can sue and opt out for several reasons. If the employee is asking for an accommodation under the Americans with Disabilities Act, or if they're making a religious accommodation request, if there's a medical concern that they don't uh, feel safe with it. The CDC estimates that when companies have a mandatory vaccination policy, 85% of employees participate. But without one, participation tends to fall to 43%. So there is some reason for an employer to want to impose it, especially if there's concern about uh, their, their busy season being during the flu season and them wanting to maintain a, a solid work employee base. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. Right now, we have everything you need to know about Indiana's plans for a COVID-19 vaccine up on our website, WRTV.com. It's a question and answer format with easy to see information so you know what's going on when the vaccine arrives.